Jack and Jills, I'm Epic Botch, and welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. In the last episode, we found a dead body and put a rock back in the right spot, as well as exploring some of the woods. Oh, apparently we can't continue down this way, which is interesting because the music changed. So we must be heading in the right direction. In this episode, we're still looking for Ethan Carter. I mean, like, even just... A snidbit of where we're supposed to go. And I still have no clue. Again, this game's really cool in the sense that it does, like, pops up clues, so you have to do. Oh gosh. Had to kind of figure things out on your own, be a little observational. I like that in the game, but it's a little bit more open ended. Oh! What is this? I have a light. Oh. What? Oh. Why am I following an astronaut? Oh my. How are we... Uh -huh. I don't understand. Where did he go? Astronaut, come back! I'm going to assume he went up this way. Okay. Just keep following the path. Ooh. Please don't tell me your name is River Song. Because... You might end up killing me and I don't appreciate that. Come on! He's going so fast! And he's like waiting for us. Does he know? Is this someone in the past? I don't know. Or is this just insane sensory thing that we have going on? It's leading us in a direction. Where where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, whew. us out there. Oh. Let's go ahead and read. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavily heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. The orange light died, another took its place. The one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. The mo a moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but it could not ignore the light. So it chased it deeper into the forest. Or another page. Get out of my room, Travis. Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Uh. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Woo, I'm confused. Oh, okay. So, America's Finest Science Fiction, 1964, featuring Yellow Hills of Mars. Okay. Gay Lord. Travis! Okay. Oh, and here's the second page. When the lights stopped... Oh. Oh! It's double space. Got it. Oops, sorry. Uh, when the lights stopped, it did so in a menacing... Um, in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Interesting. Okay, so we know that Ethan likes stories. Okay. And by the looks of it, this is one of the areas that I was going to head. Yeah. It follows the path. But it was being blocked by stuff. I don't think we'll find much more this way. But you never know. It's always worth trying to look around. It's kind of a cool little... I don't know how our character's seeing stuff. Okay, so we could have bypassed it that way. Interesting. Oh, wow. I've been using run for so long, I'm, like, it's slow. But this is walking, and that's running. And there's nothing, nothing special about this? No. Okay. Oh, logs. Just randomly cut logs all over the place. Wow, lots of piles of logs, actually. Interesting. So we have a very run down train station that would have gone through where we entered in at the beginning of the game. Hmm. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. But he thought that brought dark things grow. I kind of want to keep exploring the woods, but we got a little... We got the city over here, so... Let's stop being sidetracked and make our way someplace. Ooh, puddles. Jump, jump, jump. Very, very scenic. I've seen every version of people hurting each other. Hurting themselves. And they blame it on compulsion, selfishness, madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. Man, I love that narrator's voice. Oh, it's just so fantastic. I'd let him read me a book, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, shut up, I'm funny. Alright, so we made it to this little town that looks like it's kind of abandoned. What's there a kid doing here? Oh, man. I don't think we're gonna find anyone. Yeah, this has long ago been abandoned. I invoke the boneless one, the vo one of voids, destroy our ships and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great minister. F okay. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path of their 
falsity, and guile, and permit only those who can discern every two true interior to pass. Oh, man, names. Oh, that's not names. That's like an incantation. Or interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's do it. Woo! Oh! Um... I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, man! Oh man, which way? Which way? This way! Oh! We went the wrong way! <laughs> okay, let's see if- man, let's see if I can remember. Ooh, what's upstairs? Nothing? Not a lot. Okay, so we're finding an abandoned house. Oh man, Ethan Carter, how could you get disappear in a place like this? I'm sure this isn't even the place you disappeared in. Let's try it again. A uh, text and put back. <sighs> Alright. So we didn't go that way. Wait, what? Swap? I'm kind of curious. Did this put us... <gasps> I'm doing terrible at this. Okay, so I went... So we gotta keep going where the music's taking us. What can I swap? Oh! I don't understand how this helps us. Okay, so we gotta keep the music going somehow. And when it flashes red, we went the wrong way. So not up there. What about this room? And... Uh, am I doing it right? I really don't know. I don't know about that. Nope, that wasn't right. Oh, okay. We went the wrong way again. That's gonna happen a lot, guys. Oh, am I supposed to match up the portals to the right rooms? Oh! It's only taking me a million years, but I'm, I'm kind of starting to figure it out. Wow, no joke about no hand-holding. Um, whew. Oh no. <laughs> I'm discombobulated. I don't know where I am anymore. Okay, um... Don't do that, violins! I do not approve. Okay, I think this is probably the room. Okay, okay, we're supposed to match up the... That doesn't look right. That looks better. Nope. Alright. Got that level figured out. I think it's that one. Okay, let's see if I can remember. No. I think it was this one. Followed by, now it's gonna be stairs. So we just made our way around. And I don't know what's through there. What's up here? Nope, no. Is that this here? wasn't right. Okay, well I figured out this one. That's good. So it's not a side view of stairs. It's not upstairs. That looks reasonable. Oh boy. Nope. Um, I don't think so. 
maybe. I think it's this one. Okay, so we figured out this area. Are we... We're almost done. There's only like one other portal. Is it that? What even are you, man? Where do you go? Not that one. Not that one. I guess this is the only one that makes- Oh! Okay. I think we found... Well, look, is there anything? It's got books. Stop it, Violins! You're freaking me out. Yay! We figured it out! Okay. There's a person's head. I don't approve. Oh. I bet it's- I bet it just smells awful in here. I mean, look. Got a decomposing head right there. And a- Please tell me that's a statue of a fetus. All right, a magician once lived inside a, an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to see to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. No. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Is there another page? Oh, you know what? This isn't, um, that kid's handwriting again. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're, They're freaking awesome. Freaking everyone out. Well, that's how you know someone doesn't appreciate science fiction. Okay, so we're not really in a room. I mean, okay. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ocean Road. According to authorities, the still compromised... Uh, the still comprised, oh gosh, a prevalent stove. Woo, words today. And four gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield, okay, the sheriff believes it may have been part of a small operation, though he admits, admitted there could still be others in the city, um, in the county. Officers on the scene removed a half gallon of apple pie moonshine. Heck yeah. I want some of that. And one gallon of unflavored moonshine, apple cider, and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the... Something, something. Oh. I think it just went to a different story. Um, NASA launch what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The applications... Okay. Interesting. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth, Earth for the next five years. Okay, so they're unable to figure out who owned the still, uh, but a cigarette butt was tossed at the scene, likely the cause of the fire. Interesting. There's a, another thing to read here. Oh, that was that was his little story. Dude. Interesting. It's like a lot of this is just part of the kid's imagination, but we're still able to see it. Oh man, that took a lot longer than I expected. Just for one little house, we're getting glimpses of Ethan Carter and what he thinks of the world. His little stories. There's a lot going on. All right, Jack and Jill's, we just barely scratched the surface of this little town. We're going to keep going in other buildings and figuring out what's going on. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. 
definitely leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of Ethan Carter, The Vanishing Of. I can't ever remember the name of it. I think it's the right words. And I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue to explore this little community. See you then!